Ladies and gentlemen, I know I said I was done talking about the DCU, at least until something major happens. I think this qualifies as something major, because for once in her life, Grace Randolph is saying things that actually make sense. A broken clock is right at least twice a day, I suppose. Grace Randolph has dropped a truth bomb on Warner Brothers, James Gunn, and what's left of the DC fan base, and you know what? I'm here for it. Let's discuss. I watch so you don't have to. All I'm offering is the truth, nothing more. So a live-action Teen Titans movie is officially a go at DC Studios, according to The Hollywood Reporter. And with this news, the shills and fanboys on Twitter rejoiced, with some of them even making suggestions about the possible lineup of the Teen Titans for this project. Like this guy who suggested that they should include Blue Beetle in the lineup. Yes, the same Blue Beetle whose movie flopped spectacularly just last year. If you want a surefire way to make a bad idea worse, just add Blue Beetle. That's racist. Listen, I understand that the Teen Titans has its fans. A lot of people, including some of you, probably grew up on the animated shows. But from my perspective, and that's the only perspective I can speak from, I missed out on that whole craze. And if I'm being honest, as a longtime DC fan, I never gave a single flying f about the Teen Titans. I was always more of a Justice League guy. Maybe that's just me, but that's how I feel. Nobody likes a smart ass, alright? A lot of people have given their opinions on this news. A lot of people on Twitter are praising it. Which makes sense because, let's face it, that's who James Gunn is catering to for his new DCU. But I also saw a good bit of reality being dropped on people coming from the most unlikely source. Grace Randolph, believe it or not, had this to say about this announcement. What is the plan here? Teen Titans have already been done in animation and live action. I'm not saying some DC fans won't be interested, but I don't think this would have broad appeal. And as usual, DC fans claim they're interested. You better show up to the theater this time. Now, Grace Randolph is stealing a little bit of my material here, but I'll let it slide because it's rare that she makes this kind of profound, true statement. Now, I know that she has a somewhat hostile relationship with James Gunn through social media, and that may be partly the reason for her harsh words here. But even if it is coming from a petty place, that doesn't negate the fact that she is 100% correct. I've said this from the very beginning, but James Gunn's DCU and all the announcements feel very desperate to me. It feels like a lot of Twitter fan castings. And at its core, it feels like he's selecting projects based on what a small portion of the fandom wants or what he thinks they want. The problem with this, as pointed out by Grace, and this is also something that I talk about all the time, is this project going to have a more broad appeal that is desperately needed for this brand? Absolutely f not. Because your goal when you're starting a new franchise should be to attract general audiences. And I'm sorry, but with all due respect, I don't think you're going to be able to do that with a character like Beast Boy. I would consider Robin a household name, but even with Robin, he's a tough character to adapt. And it's very possible that even he can be rejected by general audiences. This isn't the time for retreading things that have already been done. And yes, the Teen Titans have been done in all different mediums. This also isn't the time for experimentation, not when the future of the DCU depends on these projects succeeding. You should be focusing on establishing well-known characters first and see if you can handle that. That should be your prime concern even before you think about moving into the second tier of characters. That makes sense. But as usual, James Gunn is doing exactly what WB wanted, and that's being Marvel 2.0. In this situation, and with most of the announcements for the DCU, it is literally them counting their chickens before they hatch. Grace had another great point about how certain DC fans are claiming that they are interested in this. Now, I have to reiterate she is clearly talking about the Twitter social media DC fans, because Twitter DC fans and real DC fans are completely 
different groups. Twitter DC fans thought that Blue Beetle was going to be a sleeper hit last year. Twitter DC fans were trying to convince everyone that The Flash was one of the best comic book movies ever created. But we know better because we talk about this all the time. Social media hype does not translate to box office success. When it comes right down to it, social media is a lot of talk and not a whole lot of action. Maybe that's because half the accounts hyping this up aren't even real people. I'm having trouble. Whatever the case, people can say they are interested in projects like this until their fingers hurt from typing. But if no one shows up to the theater, which has been happening a lot lately with DC, then all of this fake hype is just that, and it's all for nothing. If Grace Randolph, of all people, is admitting this and bringing attention to it, then you know things have to be bad. Because we have proof of that woman shilling for just about anything at this point. As for real DC fans, or at least most of us, I think I speak for a lot of them when I say we're pretty checked out right now, which was the whole purpose of the video I made just a few weeks ago. The truth is, is that when the core of your fan base, or at least a good portion of it, does not care about what you are doing, that is clearly a problem. And I'm sorry, but I don't think a live action Teen Titans movie is going to change anyone's mind. Again, no disrespect to the Teen Titans, I know a lot of people like them, even if I don't, but if we are being honest with ourselves, they are a very niche thing. It's kind of a you had to be there thing in order for you to understand the hype around them. Let's gut the freaking nerd. It honestly feels very similar to the MCU's upcoming plans to do a Young Avengers story. Something else that I'd like to point out not a lot of people have interest in. Call me when these two companies start making films that people actually want to see again. Until that time comes, I have zero desire to hear anything from either one of them. Y'all be cool. Right on.